To be honest, I normally like white wine. Rosé is cool. Rosé is cool. Rosé randomly gives me a headache. Rosé feels like something somebody got bored and invented that we didn't need. You know, we had white wine, we had red wine, and then somebody got creative and came up with rosé. It always feels that way the next morning. Like, I didn't need that glass of rosé. Hey, what's up, DQ? Super Duper Kyle here, and I wanted to share 10 of my essentials with y'all. First essential item, okay? It is Louis Vuitton Lemonescent. I don't know how to say that. I don't even go anywhere and I spray this on myself, you know? Cause I'm trying to, you know, I wanna make, I wanna make my lady happy. You know, I wanna make myself happy. I wanna make my dog happy. My fiance actually got it for me for Christmas. And before that, I didn't really have a ton of cologne like that. Honestly, when I was a kid, I was broke, right? So you had to use this cologne called Curve. Not that Curve is bad, it's just that when you yourself are a broke kid, you go to school with all the other broke kids and you all can only afford the one cologne. So we all went to school smelling like Curve. So it got to the point where it wasn't even like you were wearing cologne. It was just like you were smelling regular. And after that, I was pretty scarred from cologne and I never wanted to be a part of it. <laughs> but it was the best gift I've ever gotten. Here it is, this is my cologne. Take a look at all its wonder. Well, it has my initials on it, it says KH. Very, very important that you have caffeine. It can come in any form. This here is green tea, which I love. Also coffee, coffee is extremely important. When you're waking up at home, that first hour is crucial to how your day is gonna go. If you don't have coffee or tea, you know for sure your day is, is going wrong. There's no time of day where caffeine gets stopped. I've had studio sessions before where I'm just smacking a cup of coffee at like 3 a.m. Sometimes though, I'll check myself at like 7 p.m. maybe, like, okay, bro, chill. I'm talking about instant coffee, a pack of just pure white sugar in there, mix it around with skim milk, I don't care. I don't like fancy anything. I also sort of believe that like when you eat bad stuff, like when you don't care about having fancy stuff your entire life, your body becomes like sort of immune to it, you know? So I think I can drink gas station coffee and I can drink like $20,000 coffee and I'm gonna get the same effect. For me, an essential item for making every night right at home is a glass of wine. Similar to my caffeine preferences, I don't necessarily know the difference between really good wine and really trash wine because I sort of enjoy them both. I can get a bottle of Opus and just think I'm on fire. And I can also get a bottle of this thing called Red Truck and that's amazing. So I don't necessarily have like a crazy preference. Rosé is cool. Rosé feels like something somebody got bored and invented that we didn't need. You know, we had white wine, we had red wine, and then somebody got creative and came up with rosé. It always feels that way the next morning. Like, I didn't need that glass of rosé. Woo! Boom! Right here, people, your Xbox. This is damn near more essential than every other item on this list. Me, I'm a big gamer, I love video games. Always have, always will. And my day is not complete if I don't at least get like some type of gaming in. You know what I mean? I need at least two hours. Actually, I stream two hours a day on Twitch if you want to check that out. I don't know, for me, it's like always been like a release and like an escape. Sort of, if you don't like your situation at home, or you can sort of jump into this little portal that is games and, and disappear. I would say my favorite game ever for Xbox has got to be probably the Elder Scrolls franchise. It's just like an endless world, you know? If you wanted to say what's up to every single person that was in that game, it would take you years, you know? So I love that game. Second on that list is the Halo franchise. You know, a lot of people hate on Halo nowadays, but you still gotta give them their credit. And then two is like Grand Theft Auto, of course, you know? You can't really, you can't overlook Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto has been amazing for years and years, so I love them. 2K too, I'm nasty at 2K. See, I play 2K less for like, fun and more of like competitive spirit. You know what I'm saying? When I'm playing 2K, I'm trying to destroy somebody. Are you a FIFA? Nah, player? I'm not a FIFA guy. That's the same dudes that go to college for finance. You know what I mean? Like next time you see somebody playing FIFA, ask them what they studied in college.
finance, boom. You know. Another very important part of my essential day-to-day -day life. This is a Shure microphone, an SM7. I mean, essential to me delivering you guys this awesome music. You can pretty much use it anywhere, at any time. Super portable. I'm talking about we could be in the middle like of a, of a sailboat, you know, in the perfect storm. And as long as you have a computer and something to record on, this microphone is, is gonna work perfectly. Normally what I do is I just load this bad boy up. I have my glass of red wine. I'm watching some type of movie with the sound off. Some incredible beat is being played and I just normally start like freestyling and humming like little ideas as I walk around the crib. I heard something somewhere that, or I read something somewhere, which is not that credible of a source, but whatever, that dogs actually like music. And so every time I'm starting to sing or like making songs or playing the piano or something, I notice my dog, I have a little poodle, his name is Frodo. He randomly always is like sort of excited. He always has like this really nice like sort of half smile on his face. It's great because he's not that judgmental. I could be making a terrible song and I think Frodo still loves it. All right, boom, next essential, the Nintendo Switch, okay? So I'm like a Nintendo stan. So I think everybody my age, younger, above me, like literally they have the demographic of so many age groups that they were the first video game console that those people played. The cool thing about the Switch is it is all the awesome things that an Xbox or a PlayStation or something like that provides right here in your hand. And if you're talking about portability, like you can play it on the plane, you can play it in the car, you can play it in bed, you can play it as a rocket scientist. You can take this thing anywhere, any situation. You know what's funny? I wanted Animal Crossing when I was a little kid, like so bad, and I didn't have a 64, so. I never got into it and now it just came back and I'm, I keep thinking, I'm like dipping my toe into like the pool of like, ooh, do I wanna really like, I'm trying to be productive. Do I wanna spend all my time on Animal Crossing right now? The MacBook Pro, baby. Yes, sir. When I was younger, I always was on PCs. I feel like everybody had a PC and then there was those Mac people, you know, and the Mac people, they moved a certain way. They, they talked a certain way. They, you know, they gave me these weird looks that were like, have you ever done your own taxes? You know, they kind of had a strange vibe to them. Then I got my first MacBook Pro and my life was changed forever. And I was like, oh, I totally get it. You know what I mean? Now I'm one of them. I'm productive, I'm smart. But now in all seriousness, this is one of the most essential parts of my life because everything I do for my career, everything I do for my art, my passion, all comes from this thing. I use this program on here called uh, Mixed and Key, where you can take any beat, any note, any piece of audio, you put it in there, it tells you the tempo and it tells you the key. And that way you can load up your auto tune. I'm sorry if you're watching this, Quincy Jones. I feel like I let you down because we don't, we can't hear something and just tell the key of the song anymore. That doesn't happen. <laughs> the AirPods. It's almost like the most essential piece to my most essential pieces. I love these things. They have completely changed my life. Just losing the wires to something shouldn't make that big of a deal, but it really does. I'm walking down the street. I'm fully focused. I can take meetings. I can listen to an album. I can watch a TV show. I can transport to like any world just because I have these AirPods. The only thing that they need to fix is how easy they are to lose. I'll listen to music in some of my other headphones sometimes, and even though they're like supposed to be more like studio quality or whatever, the way that the sound is mixed that comes out of these is a little more enjoyable to me. They just bang. I'm even using them to do my essential list. That's how essential they are. The greatest shoe ever invented. Vans. This is the essence of a shoe. Like if somebody's like, what is a shoe? You show them this. It's not doing anything more, it's not doing anything less, it's doing just what it wants to do and it's looking good while doing it. A baby, a grandpa, anybody can wear this. I'm gonna wear this shoe when I'm 80 and I'm gonna look tight. I'm gonna look cool as hell. I have a whole plethora of Vans. I could probably wear a different pair of Vans every day for the rest of my life because that's so much I love this shoe. Also, my very first job I ever had was working at Vans. And I remember they gave me a pair of Vans for free and I damn near cried like in the store. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I can't believe you're so kind. I had Vans before they even brought the retro cool Vans back. That's how you can tell if somebody is a true Van supporter. Like, did you wear Vans before they reintroduced these. I had the chunky bands, you feel me? I had the big doofy ones, I was there. If you did it, you're questionable, you're shaky. You're on thin bands supporting ice. Sorry that I get so excited over these shoes, but bands. Next essential item is 
some snazzy Kyle merchandise, you feel me? So this is a piece of Yes merchandise from my uh, new single featuring Richard Kidd and K Camp. I'm one of those people who really sort of likes to wear their own clothes. And it's not a narcissism thing at all, or at least I don't think it is. It's just having some of my own like merchandise on hand is always sort of like a creative project for me. You know, I always get to look at it, analyze it, see what I like about it, see how it fits, see how it wears. Big picture stuff too, like really trying to like map out in the long run what like the brand will turn into and try to make it something that's more personal to me and like my hometown of Ventura. Sort of like the lifestyle brands that I grew up on, whether it's fans or like things like that. And that's the thing, if you are a cool person, you know that Vans are the greatest shoe ever and then you can go ahead and do something like this, you know, boom. Now look how, yo, I mean, it's too good. And then another very essential item for me recently has been this new Puga Shell choker chain I've gotten. And I'm taking the beach vibe with me wherever I go. I can be in Antarctica with this thing and feel warm. I sort of always kind of like the whole like beach aesthetic look and I started thinking like, damn, if I'm spending money on these chains, I always want to make sure there's something that I feel like represents me. I have a iced out one on the way that I'm really excited about. And then it got held up due to recent events. So in the meantime, I had my assistant, Mike Merchant, find this very awesome Puga shell one. So shouts out to you, Mike. And it's like really like a shell necklace. Like it's kind of like held up by like these strings and you can just like adjust them. And this is one, it's just a gold one. But hey, gold is lit too. You know what I mean? Gold is lit, can't complain about gold. You know what I mean? Hey, GQ, thank you for spending the time with me. Thanks for hanging out. That's it, that's all my essentials. I will see you next time.